Hey guys, what's up? Today we're going to take a look at the slim bean ROM for the Samsung Galaxy S2. So stay tuned for that. So hey guys, so we have here the slim bean ROM. It's one of the latest ROMs that I've just tried for the past few days again as usual as part of my review ROM routine. It was recommended by one of your guys out there. I believe it was on YouTube and on my Wired Mash uh, website, wiredmash.com. I wouldn't say it's one of the best ROMs out there. I've had some, I had some issues actually with this uh, ROM, but nevertheless, let's put the, let's talk about that later on. And first of all, upon after you finish installing, you might find this quite strange, but the screen will be a little bit small. The text and icons will be smaller. That's because the density or the DPI, the dots per inch is a lot higher for some apparent reason, I don't know why. So anyway, to fix that, head over to the system settings and go into interface, head, head over to general and change your LCD density right over here. I believe they were using 320 on default so if the text is smaller or if the icons are a lot smaller than usual come go to this uh, settings the LCD density and change your LCD density to 240 anyway moving on uh, the download is roughly about 84 megabytes only one of the smallest ROMs I've seen on the market and uh, it comes with a 25 megabyte uh, zip file for the G apps. That's normal, that's typical. Again, very small. Usually the G apps is roughly about 90 megabytes, but this time it was 25 megabytes. So this is really, really light. And as you can see, if you, if you go back to the home screen, you can notice the, uh, come here, up, come up closer. Yeah, if you can, can you see that guys? Can you see the transition between each home screen? Same thing goes for the for the app drawer. It's got a tablet style uh, transition. Yes, uh, this ROM, the Slim Bean ROM, comes with uh, a launcher, the uh, a default launcher called the Holo Launcher HD. We can go through some of the settings quickly. Um, it seems to be pretty good. I, I, Actually, this is one of the most customizable ROMs I've tried. There's so many options in terms of user interface design and user interface experience for the end user. You can even change your grid size. Uh, this is a transition effect I was talking to you about earlier on. You can change it to tablet, card stack, infinite scrolling, and etc. You can also change the styles for the drawer the app drawer and the dock settings. This is a cool thing. See down here, you can change it. I believe there are one, one, two, three, three drawer settings. I think that can be increased also and you can change the number of icons also down there. Another positive uh, trait about the Slim Bean ROM is that it shuts down extremely fast, probably in less than 10 seconds compared to the official Samsung Galaxy S2 firmware which usually takes, what, 30 seconds at a time because it, uh, it just it's just too slow. But this ROM is quite fast also and uh, very, very responsive and smooth as you can see as I'm traversing through the, through the uh, widgets and the app drawer over here. So I have a bit of a problem with the YouTube app. It's, I believe it's a custom app which was included in the Slim Bean ROM and um, it doesn't seem to be synchronizing with my YouTube account for some apparent reason. I believe there's a new YouTube um, update for the YouTube app which allows you know users to access the YouTube account. But nevertheless, um, um, you can still view videos, but I still I cannot I can't access my YouTube account. Secondly, this ROM crashes nearly all the time that means that certain apps like twitter a while ago crashed for the duration for the past few days now twitter must have crashed three times already 
and I was I'm getting actually quite annoyed by it uh, that the ROM tends to crash a lot and I, I, I restart my phone of course I start out I usually reboot my phone during the mornings but some for some reason the signal goes off and even if I do I turn on airplane mode and turn it off again the signal doesn't return and the reason why I don't I, why I usually um, why I usually lose signals because of my my location I'm inside of my room most most of the time or I leave my phone inside of my room most of the time and it loses signal after a while however what I usually used to do before is I used to turn off I sorry I used to turn on the airplane mode and turn off airplane mode within a few minutes and for some reason it got stuck and got cr crashed again and uh, sorry to say I'm not so happy at all with this room um, there are better roams out there and um, the vanilla root box room is a better alternative even though if you take a look at the advanced slim settings there's so much here there's it's so customizable but the problem is it's not stable at all i'm using i'm using one of the latest uh, builds a new update popped up here which is the good thing about this room is i believe you can actually update slim bean roam you know over the air which is actually quite good and stuff, you know, downloading it again and and installing it via clockwork mode or recovery mode. I'm I'm quite disappointed with it. I'm hoping they'll they'll improve improve upon their you know several of their bugs. But for now it's pretty disappointing. I just wanted to show you guys, you know, my favorite part when it comes to custom roams, it's the battery icon style here so yeah they got battery icon styles here as you can see up here check that out I like that battery icon style but maybe it, the phone is just buggy on my particular device you guys can give it a try it's a very small download around about 100 110 megabytes so you won't need to worry about um, download times and apart from that uh, I'm hoping that the team behind Slim Bean Roam, Roam will be able to improve on their on their Roam correct issues and bugs any bugs whatsoever and I'm sure it will be a great Roam especially with the customizations again as I said there are so many user interface customizations and they even include a custom launcher for you which is cool so anyway, don't forget to like, to subscribe to Wired Mash, and thanks for watching.